back out again. Um, Saturday this time, just in a little valley. Be going up a hill like, but you've got to walk along the valley to get to it. That way, through the jungle. Up there, over. I think it's about maybe two mile away. Shall find out. It's really still, which is uh, disturbing. Midges. I'm not bothered about any other beast apart from midges. The most annoying things in the world. Anyway, we'll crack on, we'll see. Might be alright when I get up there. It is a, it's a lovely valley. The wee river. And that's all these rock formations. Amazing. Hidden valley. This is the, uh, this river is called the Carey Burn and it goes for miles. It goes for miles. So I really don't know where I'm going today. I haven't really picked a spot. I'm just going to walk. I mean, I've looked on the map and there's hills a bit further on through this valley and there's a few hills up there. So just going to have a look, see what they're like. Any good, remote? flat I might pitch up I might just but for now enjoying the walk through the valley like very nice look at this so very, not very big is it look at the size of it <laughs> it's massive god it's like the dinner plate You could probably eat that. I'm not a mushroom man, so I'm not touching it. <laughs> pretty awesome. I never knew this was here. There's a pretty good flight, bugging us. Oh, mad, that's mint. Creepiest trees of death ever there was. Oh, pink ones. I'm actually sheltering underneath them because it started raining. I just come from up there, that valley is that way. You come to a, a, a crossroads and you take this path up here which goes up there and it comes to a fence and then you just head up according to the map I hope the fence is there on the map it looks like a fence there's all kinds of buzzing around but yeah I'm just hiding from that rain for now because I haven't got my coat on I don't want to get drenched I don't mind a bit of a that's lots of flying things don't mind a bit of a soaking but not a drenching before I get the tent up as well. I hope it does rain later when the tent's up. We'll test that tent out. So if this is an unfinished video, <laughs> you'll know I had to bail out. <laughs> Don't think I will though. See if some of the feedback I've had people are saying it is quite waterproof. Yeah. Okay, so I've just got that bit up there to go. And then a bit up, that's when it's all going up. I'm just waiting for the rain to either pass over or stop. I think I might have stopped. Been here about 10 minutes. It's that rotten rain, the one that gets you wet. There's not much you can do about it. I've gone up there. And then we'll cut cut over the side of there. It's not high like, I'm already quite high up but I think the highest I guess is about 350 meters but it's been through that valley and up here it's been lovely I love that kind of walk really nice Mr. Stoker would love that it's the sort of walk he would like not too hard either this is the only steep bit 
And then the last bit of course, I don't know what it's like. On the map the contour lines are quite wide apart, so it should be alright. I just don't like the look at that. And because there's no breeze, it's not shifting it. Let's keep going. I've noticed on the videos, the, um, the sound comes and goes, it gets loud and then it goes a bit quieter. I don't know what's going on. I think I might be changing my camera. I might get one of them, um, what do you call it? The one Tompo's got. Look at the size of that. That's me. There's my thumb for scale, Christ. It's a big one. Oh, what's it called? A DJI Osmo. Because this one is just, oh, dead glitchy. And like I say, the sound's weird. I've noticed on a few, watching a few back. The sound's bizarre. So apologies for that, it's not me. I'm just, I'm next to the, I'm just next to the camera all the time. I don't move away from it or move it around or anything the sound goes weird anyway i talk a lot of rubbish anyway you know it's not, it's not like it's important look at this just opened up but i'm going up there see the craggy crags of death doesn't look that bad when you're walking and talking at the same time it takes your breath Loads of these around as well. What are these? Anybody? Please? There's a fine variety of um, crops, plants, trees, gorse bush, heather, spruce trees. Aye, this is my ideal kind of walk. This, there's the fence there. So I go left at the fence. Right? The map was right. Well, after a um, slog of death through the Valley of Terror, up the Hill of Doom, I'm finally at the top. Look at the views. I think that's Cold Law, the Cheviot in the background. Always spot the Cheviot with the cloud on it. <laughs> um, I think I, I think I may be broad hope of it. I've camped on that one before. That was a nightmare. That was an awful night. This is called Fredden Hill. I might have a walk over there later. Something to do, but this is the bleak top of Watch Hill. Watch Hill. No path after that. Um, after that gate down there, there's just no path. There's a few little sheep paths which I followed, but mostly just made my own path. It's not. Uh, it's not hard. This has got my feet got really wet in the uh, in the long grass. Not to worry. The waterproof. I've just got to find a flat bit now, which is proven to be a bit tricky. I go head back over there that way. There was, I think, there was a flat bit over there. But yep, yeah, that's it. This is my home for the night. Well, this is my area for the night. It's a lovely, lovely uh, 360 view. Like it's only 330 meters. This you see for miles. If it wasn't, um, if it wasn't cloudy, you'd see absolutely miles and miles. It's the beauty of the Cheviots. I noticed they're all like on their own, set on their own, pointy hills all set on their own, all give good 360 views. Doesn't matter how high they are. Oh, I'm pointing my finger again, shouldn't do that. Got wrong for that last time. <laughs> I told you man, it's what I do, it's my thing. I don't even know I'm doing it. Right, let's find a pitch. Right, well I'm in. Set it up. I have to get in because it was raining. And so far, no rain's getting in. Right, so I've got all this. This is my corner. This is my larder. This is lovely. This can't get enough of that. That's me. that's me amazing cuisine. I have a bar of chocolate, which I think this is the third time I've had this out. Never really bother. Um, a couple of coffees, these are nice. Now there's porridge somewhere. Oh yeah. That's for the morning. Looks a bit better than it. It's just a uh, Morrison special. Apple and cinnamon, it's lovely. Really, really tasty that. Um, smash and grab. 
Here's your Jane. Faith in Futures. Eternal Haze. And uh, Old Faithful. Trusty Faith. And Juice Forsyth. My summer drink, which is coming to an end, isn't it? The summer. Although they say there's going to be a heat wave next week. Let's bring it on. So I'm just going to set up. I've got my big bag. I've got my, my down bag this time. It takes up a lot of space compared to the other one. That other bag's half that size. Mm, but that's twice as warm. And this is my corner of death. Pile that, pile that backpack in there. I've got my waterproof coat, which sounds like I might need. Uh, a fleece layer. A spare t-shirt, which I'm going to put on in a minute. I did bring my chair, I was a bit wishful thinking as it's not very nice, the rain isn't forecast so hopefully it'll stop but I've brought me down micro light coat just to keep warm just in case it gets really chilly so that just all sits neatly in the corner and I'll get this mat blown up this is a new mat, i do a review of that it's just a cheap uh, Chinese one but they're getting they're getting decent reviews like so we'll see that'll be a separate review if anybody's fed up with the reviews just just skip them you know because I'm gonna do them if people want to send us stuff I've got nothing else to do you know I'm doing it because I'm bored I like to uh, I like to keep active you know like to get on with stuff do stuff I come from come back from work and still got a bit of energy you know it's just like oh just do this review it can be good it can be bad if it is bad, I'll say. The good thing about this is that that left band, I like that. I may pinch that from the other mat. Right, anyway, I'll crack on and get this on. I'm getting into them in a minute. Just chilling out here. It's nice and comfortable. I might change change the head end to where I am, because this is more comfortable. See, I've closed that door. I had that door open, but the wind was coming straight in. And the rain. Open this door, and it's perfect it's absolutely perfect there's no rain coming in <laughs> there's no what there's no rain coming in and there's no wind coming in so this is the, the joy of having two doors it's a major benefit like i mean if you've got one door you just pitch your tent so that you know you're out of the rain and wind but what if it changes direction anyway the vestibule area isn't that bad I think I was a bit harsh. You could probably cook in there, like you know, if you pull the other one shut, you'd have the same, you'd have the same space on the inner side, and you've got that room there to cook in. And I mean, at a push, you could do it as long as you're careful. You know, don't have any open flames. I mean, that's quite contained. That these these kind of burners are. And you can have a windshield around it as well if you want extra protection just to keep it off the fly sheet. But yeah, that's good. The rain's not coming in. You can hear it, can you? Can you hear the rain? Yep. So I'm just lying here nice and comfortable. It's really comfy. I'm on a good spot here. Like I'm cushioned by the grass as well, which helps. I think I'm going to sleep well at night. And I can get the radio for Craig Charles at 6 o'clock. I'm going to put the kettle on, have uh, something to eat. I'm already into the juice forsyth. Lovely that. Oh, well, I've had me um, pasta. Something quick and easy, wasn't it? I had a big lunch, you know. Anyway, picking myself. I'm sleeping with my feet. That's got that head thing there. It's far too long this mat like. I mean see that in the in the review I'm gonna like just be honest about it. It's something I would recommend it. Review, can you see me? Me, can you see me? Um I'm sitting here chilling out having a can of faith. You gotta have faith. Nice. And then down here. I'm just chilling. Oh, I've got my bag here. 
sitting up. This is nice. I'm just waiting for the rain to, uh, the rain to stop. Sounds like it has stopped, so I might go out and wander around. But it's really cold now. These are the, um, the months when... Money spider, get the lottery on. These are the months when you have to take your winter gear. I think the bivvy's seen, seen its days. There's no nice weather forecast, which is a bit of a shame. No. Wasn't much of a summer, was it? But you know, we got out. I got a, I got one swim in. <laughs> that was my goal actually to get a swim, wild swim, wild camp and wild swim. That was my goal. I was like Shane Ritchie. That's my goal. Oh, was it Shane Ward? Look at the weatherman. The weatherman. The weather is nasty. That's going to come over here shortly. I think I'll be going out for long. I'm just going to sit on them crags, chill out with me beer. Good thing is, Craig Charles is on. I can get him live. Uh, that's it really, not much happening. Uh, the weather, the weather. I came out for a walk around and it just started drizzling, man. That's awful. Anyway. As an advocate of Hilliberg tents, right, I must just say this. Look at that. It's an absolute solid piece of work, this like. It's solid as a bloody rock. It's gone nowhere, that. I've guided out. I've tightened the guys. Pinned it all. Now, well, that wind's getting up, like. Look at it. It's not moving. It's not budging. There's a couple of design flaws. Like I mean, this sags a bit, so it could do with uh, a better tie-out point or a guy lane even in the middle. But that tent is going nowhere. Like. I'm absolutely shocked. <laughs> I was expecting it to be a piece of rubbish, you know. I thought the first time I used it, I thought it'd be the first and last time I use it. Free tent, just have a go, you know. I'm actually really liking it. <laughs> Anybody want to buy a stagger? I don't need it. Serious, like? Look at all the room in there. This is my sleeping area. Lovely and comfortable there. All that space at the back. What's not to like about it? The hydrostatic head was 2000, I think, I found out. I'm not, in this video, I'm not uh, I'm not reviewing it or plugging it. I'm just saying it's, it's really better than I thought it would be. It really is. I don't care about the name. Anyway, I'm getting back in, because look. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Gonna get wet. Well, we'll see. We'll see how good it is. I actually hope that does come over. See how good it is. See if it can take a bit of rain. If it can, I'm definitely keeping it. <laughs> well. <laughs> I don't think it's all about the views. Turned awful. This is cloud, this cloud and rain. Just not helping. Ah, oh, tent bound. But, could be worse. There's loads of space in here. Loving this. I'm in a right comfortable spot. Like, listen. I've got my beer. I've got me greys and I've got me mate. It's alright. Tent time. Bit of tent time. Nice. Oh, 
Hey, hey, mama said the way you move, gonna make me sweat, gonna make me grave. Do 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 Anyway, um, yeah, it's time for bed. It's about ten o'clock now. I was sort of shattered. I was at work this morning. I went to work this morning and uh, I had cubes to crush. And I had some more. All them cubes from Wooler and log in, and oh god, there's loads to do. But yeah, I've had a good night. I enjoy my own company. Uh, I really do enjoy my own company. Tompo's off the team now, like he's got a caravan. So he, you just forget him, you'll never ever see him again. Never. Ever. Oh, like it's dying. But that's it. Um, we'll see in the morning. Let's we'll see what tomorrow brings. When tomorrow comes, <laughs> this torch, whatever it is, right? That's it. No, that's it. No, oh, forget it. Forget it. Right? Forget it. More I can't tell you. I know. Nothing. Zero. Zip, zilch. Not a thing. A few sheep. Nothing else. It's actually cheered up out there. Apart from the wind. Oh. It's blowing a gale. But, as I keep saying, this tent is as steady as a rock. And it rained through the night and none came in. So there's your ad set of whether it's waterproof or not. The answer is yes, by the way. It is waterproof. I just draw you out. Ah, oh, just stretching. It's done very well, actually. It's really stable, it's really steady. That, that is quite windy out there, you know. And it's not moving this tent. Anyway, I'm going to get the kettle on. Uh, have a cup of t uh, coffee. Cup of that nice coffee. Oh, and I think about getting away. I'm not going to rush away today, like. The walk back through that nice valley, that's a nice walk. Actually looking forward to the walk back today. Because it was a very nice walk. It's only two miles as well. I think I said earlier in the video, it might be two miles or something. It was exactly two miles. Right, oh, I'm gonna crack that. Oh, slept well, even though I sound like I didn't. <laughs> Just before I go, before I put it down, blowing a bloody gale here. Look at, look at that. 80, between 80 and 100 pound. Actually, don't know the price of it. The last time I saw was 79, but the one I put the link to was a three man. And that was a hundred and odd. I don't know where that one went. Don't think anybody's going to buy it anyway, other. But look at that. It's wild out here. It's not even moving. Put an extra 10, 20 mile an hour on that wind before that would start to worry me. Right, I'm gonna get out of here. Look at the weather now. It's turned out nice apart from that wind. It's coming over a bit dark. But on the whole, not too bad. Let's get off. Get cold. Two minutes later, it's all you'll find. Like it's not perfect, is it? But it was comfortable. That, that grass is comfortable, like it's spongy. So we're off that way. Um, I'll leave this behind. Come back on a better day would be all right. You could sit out at the crags and uh, just watch the sun go down over there. But um, that weather last night, oh, that was poor. Very poor. Can't win them all. 
So unless anything amazing happens, that's it. Till the next time.